Welcome back everyone. So I have a slightly different video today and that's because Orca reached out and said hey we want to sponsor your first ever video on the channel. So we're going to be checking out the brand new app by Orca. Now this is an investment channel after all so let's mix it up a little bit because I have a few questions that I want answers to as well and the only way is for us to see what the application has to offer. So for those of you who have already signed up on the wait list the wait is almost over so let's check out the alpha version of the app. Now before we look into the application, I just want to call out that there is a giveaway. So for iOS and Android users, you can download the application and join the waiting list. Now there are a range of offerings available. In total, it's roughly £15,000 that the company has given away. Now I've already signed up and the sign up process is really sleek. You have this bot which will ask you all the required questions instead of having a standard form fill to fill in. And you can see this on the screen from a UX perspective. I just felt it was a really nice touch and made the sign up process a breeze. For now, you do need a valid UK phone number and that's both for signing up and if you happen to log out of the app. Now, once you sign up, on your end, you will have access to the waitlist page, but I'm gonna be going over how the application looks in this alpha build. And this is most likely what you'll see in the near future, but there could be additional tweaks before the release as well. So first up, let's just have a look at the settings page. These days, there's almost an expectation to have a light and dark theme. And fortunately, that's exactly what we have. So if I click on themes, I can toggle between light and dark. Now throughout the video, I'm actually going to use the light mode, but just having a quick look on dark mode, you can see all the different color contrasts. Both look really good. So let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. And so next up, we have the support section. And so once the app is live, there will be a dedicated support team to answer any of the questions that you have. Right now, we see all the FAQ question and answers, and it's mainly geared towards the giveaway that's taking place. Eventually, you'll be able to hit this top bit into the support section, but given this is an alpha build, it's not currently possible. But as with any application, and especially when you're handing over your money to invest, it's really important to have a strong support team that is easily accessible. And this is what we're seeing. For sure, we have to wait until this application is live, and then we'll be able to see the response times. But it's always welcome to have a dedicated support team. And so now onto the more interesting sections of the app, we have the discovery page. And right now we have support for UK related stocks, but this is expected for a startup. And we'll look later into the future of the Orca team. Now within this discovery page, we have the search bar, which we'll take a look at. But we also have this trending tag section. Now I haven't seen this with other applications, but for instance, we can select the halal tag and down the page, we can see the related stocks. So this is a nice touch for those who want to focus on ethically responsible companies. No doubt there'll be more trending tag sections in the future. So this is definitely exciting to see. Now if we want to search for a given company, let's just say Cola. We have the related stocks as expected for any type of search functionality. If we click on that, we see more information on the given company. So we can see we have graphs to track the stock price. Now there is somewhat of a lack of graphing. We don't, for instance, have the candlestick. And so it's possible to suggest that the type of investor that this app is geared towards is one of a long-term based investor. We don't have the fine details such as a candlestick graph that I personally prefer, but at first glance, we have all the information that we need to get an overall understanding of the stock performance. Now scrolling down, we actually have the stats section. Now personally, this is one of my favorite parts of the application. I haven't seen this on the other trading platforms that I use, at least not presented in a way that is visually easy to understand and very quick to digest. And so we have a breakdown for this given stock of the P ratio, the revenue growth and the dividend yield. I really have wished this feature. So it's honestly great to see this type of feature, especially for a dividend based investor such as myself. We have the breakdown clearly defined. So it's a great addition to see. Now, of course, there's other features tucked away in this application. I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see all the different aspects on the screen, such as the add in to watch list. There's also different metric breakdowns as well. And we have what I would consider certain suggestions. So little bits of information that can help you if you want to trade into the given company or not. So testing out the order execution, I'm going to hit the buy option. Now I have virtual currency right now. And so my balance was set to 10K initially. And so let's execute an order with six shares. We can see that there is this total fee section. So these days we've become accustomed to not paying fees, but for certain platforms out there, they generally just hide the fee and 
and claim that it's a free trade. And so the pricing model here is a one pound fee up to the first thousand pounds and then an additional one pound for every thousand pounds spent. What you do get is an instant order execution. So there's no waiting until the end of the market. And we also have a full breakdown of the standard stamp duty that's listed. So you do have to respect the openness towards the fee structure and companies do need to be sustainable in the process. It may encourage individuals to put more money within a given order, which means that you do have to think a little bit more strategic when placing an order. And so if it encourages you to research into companies before rushing to execute an order, then this can be seen as a positive. For applications that are allowing you to make an order completely free, then they are generally making money from other aspects of the platform. So there's definitely a trade-off there. So let's just review this buy order. Again, we have a breakdown of all the associated fees and the estimated costs. So if I place the buy order, you can see that the order is being submitted, order is being placed, and the order has been executed. We also have a push notification as well, which is a nice touch. And that is how order execution looks. And that just leaves me with the homepage. And so here we have our account balance. And if we scroll down, we can see any of the recent financial articles that we may want to keep up to date with. If I click on the actual account, then we can see all the different orders that have been placed and how my portfolio is performing over time. So if I hover over any of these line icons here, I can see how much I invested at a given time and how much cash I had. So over time, we will see the progression in how our account performs. We also have a breakdown, so different sectors that we invest in, the different types of stocks as well. So all in all, a really nice application and it's been very enjoyable to use. Now I did have a look on their LinkedIn page. There was one question I had and it was in terms of how safe our money is. So we can see here the, the Orca application is protected by the FSCS. So that protects us up to £85,000 should there be any problems within the underlying company. As with any application out there, we hope that's not the case, but it's great to know that we have this protection nonetheless. So looking ahead, let's see what is on the roadmap for the Orca app. So of course we have areas that are completed already or close to completion, but I'm more interested in the mid to long term. So in the mid term, we're looking at ISA accounts. This is definitely going to be great because we want to utilize the benefits that stocks and shares ISA account supports. And also there's going to be a subscription with other added additional features. We're not sure what those are right now, but a subscription model may or may not be useful, but it's definitely exciting to see how that compares with other rival companies out there as well. And then in the long term, we have more stocks available and it's focusing on the US stocks. So this is a great addition to have. Right now, the application just has UK only stocks, but as with any startup, it takes time to have all the available stocks that we are accustomed to. So having the support for US stocks is definitely a positive. And then for the European launch, at the moment it's UK only, but in the future, this will be expanded for European citizens as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. And so all in all, we have a new application to compete with the existing applications that we use as our daily driver for investment. I have personally joined the waiting list for this application. What I've shown on the screen was the alpha build that was just for demonstration purposes, but we do expect what I've shown to be released once available to the public. Now you can increase your position in the waiting list once you've signed up by getting others to sign up as well. Now if I was to share my personal link then I would potentially jump higher up on the list but I've decided not to do so because that would just be using my platform at the expense of others. So there's a link in the description which directs you to the home page but equally you can just search for the Orca app within the App Store or the Play Store. So I want to give a special thanks to the Orca team for making the sponsorship possible. For those that are new to my channel, I post weekly videos at 4.30 GMT. So if you like this content, then do consider subscribing. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.